I'm finally getting around to making my in bulk items. I'm going to be making my in bulk filter right now. And in the background, I have on the Grammys because I'm waiting for Stevie Nicks. Someone told me Stevie Nicks would be playing. I'm putting four garnet chips into my mortar and I'm going to crush them up because for this recipe um, I actually like the fact that Lori Cabot suggests you use crushed garnet because it gives it this glittery red glittery quality to the in bulk oil which I just love so I'm going to go ahead and crush them up right now Okay, I have my Pyrex on low heat. I've already added two drams, or um, that's equal to approximately 20 milliliters of sweet almond oil. I'm adding to it now um, one dram of sage oil, and I like to use this organic oil from Mountain Rose Herbs. And I'm going to stir that in. Again, very, very, very low heat. And this sage oil really smells wonderful. I like to use it to burn in my oil burner too. And I'm remaking my in bulk oil this year, even though I had lots left over from last year, because I didn't like the fact that it had um, synthetic dragon's blood oil. So I made my own dragon's blood oil, and it's really easy to make. Um, once I figured out what I needed to do, um, very easy. I, I was having a hard time finding it. And I don't know, maybe you guys know where to get real dragon's blood oil from. But I was finding synthetics everywhere. And um, all you do is you take some dragon's blood resin and you crush a little bit up into some kind of carrier oil like sweet almond oil or jojoba oil. And you put it out in the sun for a couple of days. And this is what it looks like. Can you see that red color? And has a bit of a scent to it. Um, some say that it should be odorless, but it does have a little bit of a scent to it, a kind of reminiscent of cinnamon, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Again, very, very low heat. And the dragon's blood oil, um, dragon's blood is used a lot in the recipes that I have for in bulk um, because it represents the fieriness of the sun and in bulk is a time where we're looking forward to the sun coming back. It's starting to um, give us more and more sunlight each day. We're getting a little bit more and a little bit more moving away from the winter solstice. And along those same lines, I'm now going to add my crushed garnet. And it's so glittery and pinkish red pretty. It's going to add a real nice glittery quality to this oil. And garnet, again, we use that because it brings with it, again, the properties of the fieriness of the sun. It's also good for strength, and this time of year, a lot of us are looking for that strength, maintaining resolutions you may have made, or it's a weary time of year and you need strength, and garnet brings those properties with it. So I'm just going to stir this a little while longer, and... I'm going to be funneling it into my bottle and I'll have my new and improved in bulk oil. Still waiting for Stevie Nicks to come on. A um, couple of things I forgot to mention. Um, remember when creating these oils or anything for ritual purposes, Sabbath purposes, uh, make sure to put your intentions into it while you're making it. And then um, I like to charge them on my altar for a night or so before the ritual. And another thing, just a practical tip, I learned the hard way. After making these oils, I don't put, and, and you're going to let this cool too because it's a little warm. Before I close it up, I'm going to let it cool. I don't like to put any of these utensils that I used into the dishwasher because these oils tend to go all over the place in the dishwasher and make all my dishes Anything that's porous, plastic, um, retain the scent and never get, get rid of it. And 
you know, if you're eating something that you don't want the scent of lavender or sage or whatever in it, and you usually don't when you're eating something savory or something, um, you don't want to put it in the dishwasher. So I use a special sponge and I wash it by hand and I keep these items separate. I don't use them for making food. Okay, so I got my in bulk altar all set up. Um, decided to incorporate the red and white theme this year because um, I'm really leaning more towards the Valentine's in bulk theme this year. Um, and just you know to talk about that a little bit again, back to this Lori Cabot book, Celebrate the Earth. Really love it for getting prepared for Sabbaths. This book is really good. Um, when it comes to preparing for in bulk, I like it a lot. It's called Candle Mass Feast of Flames. It talks about all the different um, feasts and rituals and celebrations that occur around this time of year. And um, the one that I really resonate with is Lupercalia, which is the Roman holiday that coincides with in bulk. And I'm not going to get into the whole history there, but it's basically where Valentine's Day started and why we have Valentine's Day. Um, so the date got moved over a little bit, and that's because of religious reasons. Um, Christianity, uh, I forget the exact story why they moved it, but uh, to coincide with a saint, that's what it was. Um, but they wanted to keep what the people, the pagans, were doing the same. So... I, I link up with that and um, the, the red is to bring in the sun and the white is for the purity and to of the um, bring in the snow and I like the red in the garnet. Garnet is a great stone again to use for in bulk because of the strength that it brings, protection that it brings and it infuses um, fieriness and sensuality. So that's something you want around this time of year. And that's what the color red is um, doing. And here's my in bulk oil. And there goes Miss Topaz. And I'm a little concerned this time because this is the first time I have an altar set up where she's so comfortable and very inquisitive. And those of you that have cats, give me tips because I have a feeling this whole thing's going to be tipped. Of course, it's not going to be lit when I'm not around anyway. But just worried about what she might do with this. I guess the worst she can do is tip it over and um, well this could be a problem maybe I should better move that out of the way that's my incense burner and there's sand in there and ashes and an old um, old charcoal rings so I guess I better move that and my other concern is I usually leave my filter bag up here to charge but this is this might be something she might be interested in so I don't know um, another stone I have up here is hem hematite um, for protection. Again, in bulk is a good time for protection. And my rose quartz to bring love um, for my in bulk theme this year. And everything else is pretty much the same. So I hope you have a wonderful in bulk and crystal blessings to everybody.